talented performer is in fourth grade, and it is Paul McGreevy. Yes. Establish quite a reputation for yourself. Everyone asks me, when's Paul going to be telling his jokes? Is that what you're going to be doing today? Yeah. Let's give him a round of applause. With GW closing, I've been thinking a lot about school. Like the time when my mom asked me why I had a zero on my spelling test. I said, Mom, that's not a zero. Mrs. Egan ran out of stars, so she gave me a moon instead. <laughs> you really can't get anything past my mom. But my dad, that's a different story. He barely pays attention. Last year at Morning Express, he forgot what grade I was in. In front of the whole school. I had to hold up three fingers to remind me. <laughs> my last report card wasn't that great, so I brought it to my dad. I said, Dad, can you write in the dark? Of course I can. He's always trying to show off. <laughs> so I turned out the lights and slid my report card under his pen. What do you want me to write? Just try signing your name. I would have gotten away with it too if mom didn't find out. I do better off in school if I study more. But you know where it all went wrong was the day when you started the spelling bee? Cause up until that day, I wasn't too smart. But nobody else knew. All right, kids, up against the wall. It's time for public humiliation. <laughs> Spell word wrong. Sit down in front of your friends. That's the confidence builder. Hey, look at me, I can't spell. I wasn't even close. I was using numbers and stuff. <laughs> That's why I always spell it wrong on purpose to sit down. <laughs> First round, cat, K, A, T, I'm out of here. <laughs> then as I cast Jake, I know there's two T's. <laughs> I think the worst day, what's the day the science project was due? Waking up that morning, that was fun, huh? Had to pop off the pillow, oh no. It's due today. I had six weeks of work on it, I did nothing. I showed up, I was scared, cause I didn't have anything good. Then I found out all the other kids, their parents made them for them. They're backing them in on big trucks. One kid with a volcano, he know how to tie his own shoe, but he built a volcano. <laughs> how to swing that? I didn't know what to do for my project, so I brought a paper cup filled with dirt, ho hoping she just walk right on past me. What do you have there, Paul? It's a cup of dirt. <laughs> Well, explain it. Well, it's a cup with dirt in it. I call it a cup of dirt. Oh. Car flipping. My biggest fear. Some kids get their car up so much, they don't even care anymore. They just walk in in the room in the morning to say that and took the car to save the teacher time. <laughs> but that's not me. I take card flipping very seriously. Raise your hand if you never had your card flipped. <laughs> See, barely anybody in third grade 
and all the way through the fifth grade. That's because of what I call the Lodginess Wall. <laughs> Nobody gets past her. <laughs> She's a cog-sucking machine. <laughs> you guessed it. Third grade, almost to the end of the school year, perfect record, and bam, my card is flipped. What you do? Look at a little black book. I see Paul has got his car to <laughs> Whose great idea was it to have bathrooms in the classroom? <laughs> this will keep kids from wandering in the halls. It didn't stop me wasting my time. <laughs> Did you know I could make a pretty good hat out of toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, it's embarrassing. The entire class knows you're in there. The longer it takes, the more nervous you get. <laughs> Feels like everyone's eyes are on the bathroom door, behind me. Tip, tip, tip. It's not very business to know whether I'm wanting it or doing it. <laughs> hey, Paul, you all right in there? And if that's not bad enough, there's always a danger of someone flinging the door wide open. <laughs> And did they have to put the toilet directly across from the door? <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think Postman Kill won't be all that bad. <laughs> did you hear they have a sledding hill? I'm not talking about some little snowbank that the plow left behind. <laughs> this thing is huge. It is so big that you have to get permission to sit from home just to go on it. I give permission for Paul to use poor judgment and break both arms and legs. <laughs> they take a head count on the way in for recess. If they lose one or two kids, that's okay. This is how they keep the class sizes down. <laughs> Then she said, in their school, there's an extra girl, so I need a boy volunteer to be our pen pal. Us boys went dead quiet. <laughs> you could smell the fear in the room. We looked at our feet, out the window, anything not to make eye contact with Miss Duty. <laughs> then she said, I don't need an answer right away, but if nobody volunteers by the end of the day, I'll pick somebody. Time was running out when Alex, with the most pitiful look on his face, said, Oh, volunteer. <laughs> he became our instant hero. <laughs> Times have changed from first grade. Now, if she asked the same question, we would be pushing and shoving to the front of the room, saying, Out of the way, she's my, she's my. <laughs> I'm thinking next year, Alex can use this to his advantage. He can go up to her and say, Hey, remember me? I was your pen pal. <laughs> PW, thanks for all the memories I see you at Post and Kill. <laughs> <laughs>